Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to learn how to play Anderson Pack's song Come Down. We will learn how to improvise over this song so you can do the come down challenge while we try to flatten the curve. I hear a lot of people play this song. I don't hear anybody play quite exactly right. Now I'm going to break down this bass line into its basic parts. We will go over three strategies I use to improvise bass lines. Down below, I've got the numbers with the scale degrees. When I talk about the E natural, we're just gonna call it the tritone. This is a four bar pattern, and we just walk up the scale to the five from the one. We're gonna use that tritone to slide between the four and five. So the first bar is. Let's do it together. One, two, ready, go. One more time, ready, go. The second bar is gonna be broken down into two parts. The first part is a walk down, four, three, one. Let's do it together. One, two, ready, go. The second half of the second bar is going to consist of two little rhythms. It's going to be E and a four, and a, and that's going to be on the root, one, 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 and then the and a is three, one. So it'll sound like this. Let's try putting both parts of that together now. Let's do it together. One, two, ready, go. The third bar is just like the second bar, except the first two notes are changed. Instead of four, three, we're gonna go six, five for the first two notes. The rest of it is the same. Let's do it together. One, two, ready, go. The second and the third bar together. Let's do it together. Ready? Go. Now the fourth bar is just three, two, seven, two, one for the first half in eighth notes. And then it's going to be a similar rhythm to the end of the second and third bar but we're gonna slice off the first 16th note. So instead of E and a four and a, it'll be and a four and a. Let's play the first half together. One, two, ready, go. Let's play this together, the whole fourth bar. One, two, ready, go. One more time. One, two, ready, go. Let's try putting the whole four bars together. One, two, three, four. some strategies for improvising over the bass line. I'm gonna give you three of my favorite ones to use. 
first just vary the rhythm on what's already there. We can just take the regular old bass line that we know and we can just change up the rhythm. I'll play it once through as the original bass line and then I will start changing up the rhythm. Another great strategy I like using is to try to hear out where the chord changes are. The way I hear it is... So that's one, three, four, one, six, one, three, seven, one. And those are the changes. So I can just vary rhythms over where those changes are. changes are and where they move, I can start using some harmonic strategies to play over these changes. Bass players love playing octaves and fifths because our job is to outline what the chord changes are. If I'm playing 15151, that makes it really obvious where it is. Now I can vary the rhythms and I can choose from one of three notes for each chord. We've got a one chord, a three chord, a four chord, a six chord, and a seven chord. The way I hear it. The one chord, 151 is B flat, F, B flat. The three chord, D flat, A flat, D flat. The four, E flat, B flat, E flat. B flat. Then G flat, D flat, G flat. Back to the one, B flat, F, B flat. Then we've got the three, D flat, A flat, D flat. Seven, which is A flats and E flats. And then back to the one. And then we just do that in rhythm using those notes. Now you have three really great strategies, and if you've got some other strategies, I'd love to hear about them in the comment. Now it's your turn. Play me this bass line, and I want to hear some of your variations on it for the hashtag Come Down Challenge.